Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel and today I'm going to squeeze myself into a tight space. Hello and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife channel you beautiful lot and today we are talking mile deep interior products. We are talking mile deep interior antiviral and antibacterial cleaner and also mild deep interior dressing now if you've watched my previous video of garage therapy you'll know that i mentioned that i hate doing interior videos i'm too big i'm too tall to get into tight spaces and i have filmed this video before and i run my phone over um don't ask and i lost all the footage so i was like oh, i've got to film it again i've been putting it off and putting it off and i was like do you know what it is time i can't leave them waiting any longer I kind of feel bad that they've been waiting so long for this video to go out so I was like, right, I'm getting it done this weekend. Well, the car is sort of dirty in places. Now, when I filmed this before, I sort of sprayed it onto the microfiber cloth as directed, wiped the dashboard over, took the dust off, and it looked nice and clean. I thought, you know, it's done a fantastic job. However, I wanted to put this to the test, and I wanted to find a nice, dirty area of my vehicle, and that is the boot. The pram gets chucked in, shoes gets chucked in, you name it, gets chucked in that boot. The boot's filthy. It's covered in dirt, it's covered in grime, and it's also covered in suntan staining on the trim i wouldn't I don't know if it's stained or whether it's just dried in suntan lotion but on the trim you can see white patches where my wife's put suntan lotion on the kids and they've kind of rubbed the side and it's left a nice white patch for me to stare at every time i open the boot now i'm going to start off by hoovering the boot out not because i want to clean the carpet because in little nooks and crannies on the plastic side you can see where there's a layer of dirt and dust that's come off the pram and dried and sort of gone dusty that i want to get off before i go in with this interior cleaner so I'm going to quickly hoover the boot and get all that loose dirt off the floor and off the plastic trim at the side so that I'm not dragging any sort of grime and dirt around with my detailing brush. Now, you can spray this onto a microfiber cloth and just rub over the area. I am using a detailing brush to agitate the dirt on the plastic and get in that sort of nice little fine grain I have on the plastic. Now, it's not like smooth plastic in the back. It's sort of that model plastic so it's got sort of grain that you need to get into microfiber cloth won't do that um so i use a detailing brush to sort of swirl it up and get in there however this plastic i know it's already scratched i know it's already damaged i don't want to add any more scratches and damage to it i'm using a soft sort of exterior detailing brush that's so a nice exterior brush from soft 99 and it's really really soft and really really nice and gets in those nooks and crannies however it won't cause any scratching that you get from maybe a harsher brush now, once that's done, I'm going to spray down the panel with the mild deep interior cleaner, making sure to give that panel a good soaking so it gets in and sort of starts to loosen that dirt before I get there with the brush. Now I'm just going to go around slowly and agitate this cleaner with the brush. Now, it's not overly foamy. Um, some interior cleaners I have used, one of my favorites is Koch Kemi, which is very, very foamy. Even at a sort of lower dilution level, it's still a nice foamy product. Whereas this didn't have much foaming to it. However, you could see it going to work on the interior. Um, if you want it a little bit foamier, you can spray it into the end of your brush and it does come out a little bit foamier. However, it is not the most foamiest product to use. Now, once I'd gone around that whole panel with my detailing brush, I then went over with a clean, fresh microfiber cloth, get rid of that dirt residue and any excess cleaner. And you can see that plastic trim is looking nice, fresh and clean. Now, all that was was mild, deep antibacterial and viral spray and a detailing brush, and it looks absolutely beautifully clean. Now, again, along the bottom trim here, where, again, my wife chucks a pram in, it gets covered in dirt, it gets covered in grime. You can see the suntan lotion on the left-hand side where it started to dry in. Now, I've sprayed that over before with just a quick sort of detailer, and I've rubbed it over, and it just doesn't bring it up. This cleaner has got into that grain. It has loosened that dirt up. And when I clean it over with microfiber cloth, it's pulled that suntan lotion out. So that stain is no more. Now let's move on to the interior dressing. Now again, everybody's favorite test. I pop down a little bit of electrical tape and I'm going to spray one side of the plastics. Now I did overspray and it has gone onto the other side of the plastic. However, once I have rubbed it all in and rubbed the excess off, I'll remove the tape and you can see underneath the tape, um, you can see that faded color of trim. This interior trim dressing has freshened that trim up nicely. You can see again under that tape was what the trim used to look like. The dressing has made it look nice. It's given it a nice finish and made the trim look nice and dark. 
and fresh. Just kind of what you want from interior dressing. And I'm going to go over that panel that I previously cleaned with the interior dressing. Give it a good spray over and then a wipe over with a microfiber cloth to spread it out and get it into every little nook and cranny and crevice. And you can see as I'm doing that, that panel does look a lot darker. It looks a lot nicer. It does have a nice sort of shine to it. It's not overly glossy, which again, if you know me, I don't like a glossy sort of interior dressing. I like a nice sort of matte, maybe a little sheen to it, but I prefer a matte finish. Now, once I rub that in and rubbed off any excess, I rub my hand over it and I can't feel any greasiness from this product. It just feels like I'm touching clean plastic. Again, exactly what you want from an interior dressing. I hate the whole touch it and it's greasy and your things stick to your fingers. This has done a cracking job at making those trims look nice. Sort of clean with a little bit of shine. If you like shine, then this is perfect for you. And it's not over the top. It's not like some of the sort of dash shines you get from sort of a pound store. It is a nice sort of elegant looking shine, if that makes sense. It's not like a uh, in your face shine. It's just like a nice little sheen to it, which is sort of my limit. I like a nice sheen. I don't like an overly glossy finish, but it is a nice sheeny look to it, which I do like. And again, it's not overly greasy, which is perfect from an interior dressing. Now, earlier in the day, I opened my passenger side door and I see where my wife has been getting in with her welly boots on and I just closed the door again. I was like, I can't be dealing without that. That is too much mud there for me. However, I thought, you know what? This is perfect for this mild, deep interior cleaner. Again, this is putting this product to an extreme test. This is a cracking, cracking product. Spray on your microfiber, wipe the dashboard over, cleans it up really, really well. But I thought, you know what? Let's put this to an extreme test. And after seeing that, I thought, you know what? That's perfect to try this mild, deep interior cleaner on. So just like the boot, I went around with the hoover and hoovered out any of the loose grime, dirt, leaves, and sort of grit that is in there up, just so it was that ingrained dirt in the plastic that I was cleaning and not moving around loose grit. So the same as the boot before, it is just a few sprays onto the dirty surface and agitate with a brush. Now I'm using a stiffer hog hair brush here. I'm not using a soft um, brush because the dirt was a lot worse here and I needed something that had a little bit more of a bite to it to agitate the cleaner around to get that dirt up. Now once I'd agitated that cleaner around and lifted that dirt up, it was time to rub it over with a clean, fresh microfiber. And you can see that cleaner has penetrated into that dirt with the aid of a detailing brush. It has lifted that dirt out and removed the dirt from the plastic trim. So once I wiped it over, that dirt was gone and it had left that trim looking nice and clean. Now that is it. Now that is the mild deep interior antiviral antibacterial cleaner. Now not only is it antibacterial and antiviral, it helps to lift the dirt on ingrained plastics, as you can see, with the aid of a detailing brush, you can see it removed all that dirt from that bit of trim and the boot and even helped lift that sun cream staining out of my plastic trim. And now also the interior dress, you can see from that part in the boot, it left a nice finish on that panel. It wasn't greasy. It wasn't overly glossy. It had a nice sort of a sheeny finish to it. It wasn't overly glossy, which again, if you know me, I don't like glossy trim. It left a nice looking trim. It wasn't oily. It wasn't greasy. It just felt like a nice, fresh piece of plastic. So would I buy these products? 100% yes. Now the interior dressing wasn't overly glossy and wasn't greasy. So it's a really, really nice product to you. So I would buy them again. Uh, would I buy the interior cleaner again? Yes, yes, I would. I'd definitely buy it again if I was looking for an interior cleaner. It was a nice interior cleaner to work with. So there we have it, guys. That has been the Mild Deep products. Don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I've been the Hairy Housewife. You guys have been great, and I'll see you all again very soon. Hello, and welcome back to the Hairy Housewife YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to squeeze myself into a tight space so you can see 